Meet James Momodu Dao Samba, a 20-year-old Sierra Leonean University student who has found a niche for himself as an inventor and has just created the first of its kind commercially viable electric hybrid minibus in Sierra Leone. This hybrid electric minibus does not require any form of fossil fuel for its power to function, but simply charges and stores power using the solar grid and the normal electricity. Hello everyone, I am James Momodu Dausamba. I'm a student and innovator and I've just invented the first ever commercially viable electric minibus in Sierra Leone. The electric minibus is a hybrid system which of course do charges from the normal electricity grid and also has um, an additional power from the solar system that is being incorporated with it. And of course it's a minibus that has a space to carry up to 10 passengers, including persons living with disability. This electric minibus took about nine months to make using electrical materials bought from the local stores and other scrap yards within Freetown with lunch allowance which James normally gets from his parents and other well-wishers. This electric minibus can move at about 60 to 80 kilometers per hour with no sound, no fumes, and consequently, no harm to the environment. A perfect solution to mitigate the apparent global warming the world is currently witnessing. But what is James' inspiration behind the creation of this masterpiece eco-friendly technological solution at his age and with no formal education in automobile and other forms of electronics? So my inspiration for building this particular form of electric vehicle comes as a result of the negative impact of the use of fossil fuel in our normal public transportation vehicles my environment. Of course, the use of this fuel has um, do cause the emission of CO2 to the environment, which is really harmful to both the environment and the health of the people living in my community. Seeing this as a problem calls for a greater solution, which, which is environmentally friendly, like the electric minibus, which has no dependency on fuel. James started getting the urge to create things from a younger age out of curiosity and the need to create solutions to tackle pressing problems in his community. That particular passion for innovation has been driven over the years, of which I have done some other forms of innovation, like building my own FM radio station. And in the past coronavirus crisis that hit Relion, of course, there was a need for us to have something that is contactless, a hand washing station. Of course, I was able to also build a hand washing station that was contactless, that is automat automatically controlled using sensor. And now, seeing the harmful effect of CO2 as a result of the use of cars that emit gaseous fumes which dangerously pollute the environment and cause ailments for humans, James has jumped into the defense of the environment once more with an environmentally friendly solution, the electric hybrid minibus.
But of course, James did not just create this electric hybrid minibus on a silver platter, as he had to face a couple of challenges along the way. But fortunately, he is here now with the result of his hard work. Because one of it that is key is the financial challenge. And this actually affected me in limiting me to having access to things that we are to be bought from um, the stores. And with that in mind, I, I was unable to either have them on time or maybe have to use the parts that I did had from um, the local scrapyard in my community. But I believe with financial support, if I'm supported by people, I will be able to create tens or hundreds of these inside of Sierra Leone for the benefit of the entire community and Sierra Leone at large and even Africa.